Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday break. Uh, gonna be a fun one, for sure. I've done this one a couple times. You guys seem to like it a lot. I'm gonna do it again because I like it a heck of a lot. Uh, yeah, we are going to get right into this momentarily. I'll show you what it's all about, but I did want to touch on one thing. Uh, if you guys uh, have caught my last Mega Hit Week where I pulled uh, a really cool... What was this out of? This was out of 1819 Ice... I pulled the SSSP die cut rookie premieres of Yusperi Kotkaniemi. Um, ice premieres rookie card there. Um, and I actually had on display, a lot of people were confused as to what makes this so special. So let me show you guys. The card number 148, yes, it is numbered. That's not what I meant by no numbering. Um, let me set this right next to this bad boy because uh, this was the other one I pulled uh, a while ago from 1718 ice yes it's card number 194 in the set but it's the josh hosang ice premieres rookie card die cut no numbering uh and what makes these so crazy cool and hard to pull i'll show you guys as i set these down i want to pull a couple of the other ice premiere things out show you some of the other premieres from over the years so first one i'm going to show you guys from 1516 ice here's a mike condon okay now what's yes it has numbering on the back yes 189 this is what i'm referring to like that's 321 and 499 i also have let's see with me from 1112 ice card number 89 which is justin falk ice premieres 140 of 499 and then this thatcher demko's 1617 ice premieres yes it's card number 139 but it's premieres numbered 1154 of 1299 these are both supposed to be out of, I believe they are the highest level, so I believe they are out of 99 they're supposed to be, but they are not. They are not numbered, and they are the special die cuts. So if you'll notice, all these other Ice Premier cards, they are all kind of like square cards and stuff like that. I know they're hard to see with the acetate look and everything else, but they are not die cut. These are both die cut, not numbered. Makes them incredibly, incredibly hard to pull. Um, look into it for yourself. But uh, trust me, this is a, a monster pull, way more than the Hosang for sure, to pull a rookie of that caliber. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick, guys, because uh, some people were asking. I tried to explain it to a few people, but I, I wanted to actually give you guys a visual to be able to see what I was talking about. That being said, let's get right the heck into this. Can you tell by the background cards what we might be doing here? If you haven't checked out these in the past, you'll get to see your first one tonight uh, or today whenever you're watching this. But uh, check out the other videos as well, because I've done this several times now. It's a blast. Background cards, left to right. Uh, all, I don't know, they're not all, all PSA 10, but uh, left to right. From 1516, Upper Deck, uh, actually Series 2. My PSA 10, Young Guns Canvas, Connor McDavid. On the right side, we got from 1516, Series 1. My PSA 10, uh, Young Guns, Connor McDavid. And center stage from 1516 SPA, my Future Watch Auto Patch Limited uh, out of 100. That's going to be 94 of 100. Of course, three off the jersey number. That would have been sick. Um, wicked patch in there as well. But uh, my PSA, Connor McDavid. Uh, I did not bring out some of the others. I have quite a bit more. You guys know that I have. I've, I've pulled the uh, Connor McDavid. Future Watch Auto, regular one there, out of uh, 1516 SPA. Uh, it's sleeved up, ready to go out the grading. And I have quite a few others and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that all being said, all the blabbing, we're going to do one of my uh, my own created boomboxes. Again, this is my take on the boombox. It has nothing to do with the actual boombox itself. It's just a little spoof I do. Buy some packs, mostly from a website called Imagineer.com. Put the link in the description for you guys if you want to check it out for yourself. Pretty cool store, good uh, good good place to buy some cards from. I always throw myself in one of these one touches. Hopefully, we'll put that to use today. And yeah, this is a special edition because everything in here is 1516 uh, oriented. We are going for nothing but Connor McDavid rookie cards today. I mean, it'd be cool to pull something else. I have pulled some other wicked hits in here if you guys didn't check out. I think the, the most recent one of these I did check it out to see the inscription uh, and the card numbering I pulled from 1516 SPA. Uh, it was just insane. But uh, yeah, anyway. Here's what we're looking at. We got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 packs. 12 packs, all hobby, guys. All hobby. I don't play around with anything other than hobby in this. Uh, and, yeah, they are high end. I will show you very quickly, and then we'll get to busting. So they're all 15, 16. So we got ice. 
Series 1, Champs, Artifacts, SPX, Series 2, Canada Juniors, Portfolio, which will be a first time for me. Got some Trilogy action going on. We got some OPG Platinum to go along with the OPG Base. And last but not least, you guys can see the actual sticker even on that from their store, uh, Fleer Showcase. So, yeah, very cool packs. Very cool packs. Very uh, you know, high potential things here and stuff today. Let's see what the heck we can do. Where to begin? Let's do... How about Juniors? Let's do Juniors. So we're looking for the Canada card here of Connor Mack. So we got a nice big old decoy in here, so... No patch card or anything is going to be working in here, but we could still maybe get an auto or something or a decent rookie that we're looking for. All right, so we start with a Caroline Ouellette. There we go. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, there it is. Sweet. I'm not saying it's an absolutely gigantic card, but it is definitely a decent card. Uh, I do not have that card yet. And for right now... That's going to be one touch worthy. So we are busting out the one touch already in pack number one because I do not have that card. Been looking for that card for a while now. There it is. The Connor McDavid. Very nice. Canada Juniors. What a start. What a start. I love it. Nice. So there we go. That's who we were looking for. What a start to this. Let's keep it going. Brett Howden. Dylan Strom. Another decent one. We got a very nice, get the heck out of here, Matt Barzell exclusives out of 199 Whoa, baby, what a pull, what a pack. That is sweet. Very, very sweet. Oh, baby, that's a heck of a card. There's our decoy, and we finish with a Cal uh, Capo Bianco. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. I'm not familiar with him, but what a pack. Yeah, yes, sir. That's how we do it. That is nice. Very nice. All right. Where to go to next? Let's do let's do portfolio. I'm curious to see what the heck this is about. I've never opened this before in my life. Uh, so I am very curious to see what we can get in here. <laughs> very little to anything about portfolio. So let's just see what we get. So we start with a Jake Allen. Pecorini or pecoroni. Pepperoni, as my son calls him. Hank Lundquist, and then we got something behind it. Oh, nice. Boom, rookie phenom, Antoine Babo. Very nice. That is a sticker auto, but who cares? That's a nice pull. Antoine Babo for the, uh, the Maple Leafs there. Very, very nice. I like that a heck of a lot. This is definitely a successful break already. Holy smokes. Zach Parisi, Jonathan Huberto. JVR, and we finish with a Derek Broussard. So nice stuff. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, where to go to next? You know what? I'm actually going to do the flagship stuff just because the odds are just so incredibly tough to actually pull uh, the Connor Mac. But who knows? The odds are with us so far. We're going to start with Series 2. We're looking for that canvas that you see pictured there in the background. It's going to be almost impossible to pull one. I know that. So I don't really have hope for that, but hey, it's worth a shot. Jack Eichel. Young Guns is in this one as well. We got some serious stickage going on in this. It's a little bit of brick action. Try and get these unstuck before we go one by one through them. So we don't have to slow down. There we go. All right. So we start with a Michael Roffel, Dale Weiss, Jimmy Hayes. We do have a Young Guns. Young Guns is going to be coming up right behind. Nice. Behind Yogs. It is Nikolai Goldobin. Nikolai Goldobin, so very nice. I think I have several of these already, but still not too shabby. We'll take it. We'll definitely take that. That's pretty cool. Set that in the hit pile. Scott Lawton, uh, he's stuck to I know it's just base, but still some people like to see the base, so I'm going to show you. Michael Froelich and Alex Tangay. There you go. Let's do the Series 1. Now, Series 1, odds are a little bit better, but still very far off. You're looking for the young guns. Uh, base of Connor McDavid, and we didn't even touch on the uh, Canada Junior stuff or nothing like that, uh, which you can also pull in here, Team Canada. All right, so Brian Boyle starts us off, Daniel Gerard, Nikita Kucherov. We do have a Young Guns. <laughs> we got a Young Guns. Uh, I can tell you it is not the Connor McDavid, though, behind this JB. Well, I can just tell from that little bit. Ronald's 
Kennens. So, not the best name. Still a young Gunza, still a hit. I'll take it. Jonathan Taze, Marion Gabrick, Jonathan Erickson. There we go. All right, let's do, how about we do OPG next? Because we'll do uh, kind of the regular OPG, and then we'll transition into the Platinum on there, and everything else is quite a bit more high-end, as we're going to kind of tear this up. Let's see what we can get in this pack. So we start with the Jason Spezza. Patrick Elish, all-star card. Teddy Purcell. The Flower, all-star card there. Mike Weber. Andrew Miller, rookie card. We got a retro. Joe Thornton, Jumbo Joe, and Kevin Hayes. Those retros are not numbered or anything, if you're curious about that. Let's do the OPG. Uh, you're going to get one auto per Hobby Box. I believe Hobby Boxes have like 24 packs, so roughly we're looking at one in 24 to be able to actually hit the auto. Uh, and then for it to be McDavid would be insane. Looks like we got a die cut in here, so I'm going to say no auto, most likely. Uh, we definitely have a die cut. All right, so we start with the other than the shine of Chris Kreider. Johnny Hockey, Johnny Goudreau, all-star card there. I'll actually pull from the back of that Nick Ritchie rookie card and the die cut. Nice, it's a good one. Superstar is the great eight, Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, not numbered or anything if you're curious about that, but uh, that's pretty decent. Probably got about a, off the top of my head, probably about a five ten dollars value on that, I'd say. Let's do champs. Let's do champs next. We're down to our final six. See what we can get in here. Same thing with champs. One auto per box. A couple of relic cards normally are in there. There's nothing thick in this. So no relics, but maybe the auto. Looks like we got a gold in the center. Andrew Cogliano. Uh, you're a Hulk and our gold. Nikita Kucherov. Not bad. We'll take it. We got traditions behind there. Of uh, the CFD fire helmet. That's pretty cool. I like that. Calgary Flames there. Interesting. Cool. Do not have that card. Marty Jones and a Henrik Samuelson rookie card there, so not too shabby. Let's do let's do artifacts. Artifacts and I think clear showcase. And then the three highest of end packs for the end. Alright. Artifacts. Let's find no expired redemptions too. We got a thick decoy in here behind this Daniel Sedin. So, Thick Decoy. I'm going to pull from the back, actually, because that'll be our hit right behind there. Dustin Brown, Chris Kunitz, and our final card of this pack in the hit. Artifacts Red. Is that Carey Price? It is. Artifacts Red of Carey Price. That'll be out of $3.99. So, not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Put that there. Let's do Fleer Showcase. Uh, you get one auto patch per hobby box. I don't expect to pull that. I have pulled that out of these loose packs before, but I don't expect to pull that. A lot of expired redemptions in here, so I almost kind of don't want to do that. I have no idea if McDavid's alive or not in here. I can tell you, or Temi Panarin is not, because I pulled his the redemption for his auto patch uh, rookie, and yeah, it was crap. Got some type of blue uh, going to be coming up, so we'll pull from the back for Andre Kopitar. Uh, Jeff Carter, our thick decoy. And then we'll go from the front again here. So Gino Malkin, Andrew Ladd, and our hit of this one. It's Rookie's Blue. Jacob De La Rose, Blue Ice. Blue Ice for Jake De La Rose. And that is numbered out of 199. Number 69 of 199. So pretty cool. Take it. We'll take it. Definitely better than some of the packs that I've opened in the past. All right, these are definitely our three most expensive packs. Um, shoot, I don't even know where to go. The heck with it. I don't know why I'm feeling it, but let's do SPX first. Then we'll do Trilogy, and we'll finish with Ice. Uh, so we got a thick decoy in this SPX. I can see that. Obviously, the back card is not going to be the hit of this pack, which is Hank Zetterberg. Not sure. Yeah, okay. Marty St. Louis. From the back, there's that decoy. And then our last card of this behind the Grant Fuhrer, our hit of this pack. Sam Bennett, shift change. And a nice big old spot that I would have thought an autograph would be. So, yeah, definitely not a great pack on that one, that's for sure. 
We'll set that aside. Let's do Trilogy. Another thick decoy, so uh, hoping for an auto or uh, a nice kind of level something rookie. We got probably, uh, we got something behind this Mike Loot. So Mikel Bodcher pulling from the back. Gabe Landeskog. Uh, how many cards we got left? I guess the decoy. So right behind this Mike uh, Loot is going to be our hit of this pack. And it's not going to be McDavid. It's going to be Henrik Sedin. Uh, one of those kind of career-based numbering cards. 915 career points, so number 431 of 915. So unfortunately, nothing too great there for sure either. So we'll set that aside. We're down to it. 15, 16 ice. Very expensive pack. Very, very expensive pack. Uh, thick decoy. It's okay, though. We're hoping for the ice premieres. That's what it's all about. It's going to be tough to not spoil the next card, honestly. Uh, it really, really is. I don't even know. Is it two cards in the back and two in the front? Okay. So uh, the hit's going to be behind the decoy, at least. So Claude Giroux. I'm not going to show you anything behind the acetate there to make a pop. So Claude Giroux starts us off. Tyler Bozak is next. There's our decoy. I'm going to pull from the back and then we'll show you the final card of this break. Adam Henrique. We have one card left. It's right behind this decoy. It's the hit of the pack. Hopefully it's the hit of the break. Uh, it's not going to be Connor McDavid. It is going to be an Ice Premier's Luis Domingue out of a 9.99. So there you go. That's not one of them SSPs obviously that I was showing you guys about. You guys can see the numbering clearly on the front. No die cut action or nothing like that. Louis Domingue. So there you go. Nothing too, too insane, obviously. The hit, honestly, set some of these young guns aside. I mean, we were on fire early on. Uh, the Antoine Bobo was pretty cool out of portfolio. <laughs> then, honestly, maybe the best pack of this entire break was that uh, Canada Juniors pack that we started with. The Matt Barzell exclusives and the Connor McDavid like, geez, that, that was a heck of a pack. Heck of a pack. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the break as much as I did. I still have enough for at least one, if not two more of these uh, that I'm going to put together just based on packs I have sitting around right now. Uh, I love hunting for Connor McDavid rookie cards. So I'm going to continue that. Um, and one of these days we're going to have some serious, serious luck and get a, a big hit, I hope. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address as well as a mailing address and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, great night, wherever y'all are at, and we will see you next time.